pretty much always going to be going for something on those lines as well. So smokes go out and they will start to proceed forward. Kenny S on the crossing angle can't really do much. So Jax will be left to do everything over here as he can't find the kills. It's a bit late, but he will break one down. Brokey has responded. And with this, they're onto the bomb side and bomb will oh, Kenny from behind. Gandalf is peeking out, but can't be done. As Brokey will take him down. Left down to three. Hunter's been tagged as well. Increasingly unlikely, but next and Hunter are finding a kill apiece, bringing it back in their favor. They don't have a kit, but they will start to fight upwards. Rain with that P250 has been left behind. He needs to find these kills, and with the shadow in his favor, oh. he will do just that. Finds oh. one and the second as well, even if it is a little bit sloppy. Not the case today. Not the case on the pistol at the very least. Mm. Well, five players heading down long is going to be a good little story for G2, but it's not one with a happy ending. Oh. Broki getting in some action onto his own teammate as well, and he will have Amanek find one more kill because if Amanek now left in a 1v2 could find this oh important one because that's the bomb down as well. Kirby now left in a one-on-one. -on -one. And with the AK picked up, Amanek can even be said to be favored. The only problem is he doesn't know where Kirby's coming from. Yeah, and Kirby has the information, the reload from Amanek, the sound cue given up. Also thrown his direction, has to make sure that doesn't spread too far. Amanek, oh, given the head, Kirby with a nade out. Only need a little bit of damage, but they're equal. 23 apiece, and Amanek pulls it off. He out-timings Kirby, he outguns him in the end, and playing that headshot angle, exactly what he needed to do in the clutch. Brilliantly done, and yes, he lose oh out quite goodness. a few players, but now it's time to see the money coming in. <laughs> oh. catching it in. Cha-ching, cha-ching, cha-ching. Four kills already, and the fifth right around the corner, quite literally. Broke has been chased down, and Amanek will put him down as a Nova. He's been getting in the damage, even if he's not been finding the frags. G2, that hole that is ever so massive. He's Amanek in a rough spot. He gets spotted out, but he actually gets one frag. Surprisingly so, as G2 come ahead out in the trade game. Now just Cold Zero and Nico to try and lock them out of B. And they are looking to anticipate some movements. Cold Zero, good little angle for himself as he's crept past towards the smoke, which will dissipate soon, but he can't get the kill. Nico left versus four, and he's certainly up for the task, but the task might be coming around, Ooh. but he can't be brought down. Nico. Nade will come over, and he's still got another, but Kenny trades away. Is there time? And it seems like there is. Nico brings it very close, but Kenny will still keep it under control. Maybe come over his way. Faze has prioritized mid control pretty heavily so far. I know the Molotov and Cold Zero's position reveal that Grenade's going to be doing a pretty large amount of damage. With that, the Nexa just comes in, cleans up two kills. Amanek is traded away by Kirby Spiegel, and Nexa's still fighting. Nexa to fall. Suddenly, it's all doable. Rifles can be recovered. Now they get the plant in as well. The B bomb site, a uh, notoriously tough nut to crack. And Rain fancies a go at a couple peaks, does threaten that window jump up. It's actually looking for another. They have no utility. It has to be dry faces and catching them on the timings. Brokey, Molotov out of position, and Rain still holds the high ground. Up close and personal, Kirby, the first to find Kenny in the back. And Brokey's found a frag as well. Just Jax, a one on two from the window. He knows that they're below him, and he doesn't fancy his chances. Begins his retreat, but he's caught out. Brokey tracks him down, and it's that bursting play towards B that find phase a second. Doesn't really have any flashes on his own self, but the maid and the Molotov will make a pretty big difference. I'm sure he's going to be chucking them out soon, but the flashbang means he can't line it up, and the player's already gone by. Needs to start firing out soon. Rain will take him down, and the trades are favoring the terrorist side. Now down to a four versus two. G2 Esports likely to save, especially if they can find the AWP, but Jax is still fighting, and dueling is found one. Are they going for this? Oh, Rain's on 3 HP. It's dangerously close. Jax wants this. He really wants to punish them. Try and find any slither of hope. Rain's gone, but he has his teammate repositioning to try and rendezvous. But ultimately, he'll rendezvous in the grave instead. An equalizing round there for FaZe. Oh, 
Well, execute over towards A. The flash is perfect. Rain able to get one, but not able to get the second. Armanek almost sprays two down as they emerge through middle. It was B. That was the main focus. It was just a distraction to take eyes away from that site. And Nico cuts off the rotation of Nexa. Even finishes it off. That is sharp from Nico. Well, there are two players stacked inside mid. So Kenny, that stack on the oh. other side will end up poorly for oh. them. Brokey somehow gets away as well. A nade at his oh. feet and an AWP in Nexa means that although he's damaged, he is not dead yet. Kenny, now on short, trying to defend, trying to give them a chance. And he will do just that. Beautiful shot comes in as he refaces out but can't get the flick in time. Their bomb is still far away, and Amanek might be able to catch it on the cross. There is no smoke to prevent that, but Amanek is more concerned with mid and reinforcing Kenny, where Kirby around the corner goes unchecked. And Kenny's left alone. He's got to go for the oh. ace clutch if he wants this, but instead, with the Molotov at his feet, he knows he doesn't have the HP for it, will end up backing off. What a round from Kenny. Well, Ooh. Kenny is again going to be put to the test, but this time, turns out he doesn't really know all the answers as Rain finds Hunter. Kenny on the hero up. Well, Rain has brought him right back down. And Michael, this is not going well at all. For the side of G2, Rain is just tearing apart this force by with... Next out of fall as well. The op not to find a single kill. Armanek, in fact, the only one to ring some bells. And he is going to be finding someone at the door. It's Brokey on the other side. And Armanek Ooh, suddenly what? turns around for the flick of a lifetime. Left in a 1v3. Will try to save this AK. And seems like that success should at least be found. Though, as I say, that face clan are turning around and looking to contest. Armanek is going to pull out the gun and almost the duel. I like this well, though. G2 get aggressive towards B. Yes. They've cleared things out so they can stack A safely. And with full B control, they can start to move in as well. Hunter is taking the first contest and Kirby has fallen, but so has next hand Kenny. Oh. Leaving just a single man and that single man will try to defend. Jax is climbing up the beanstalk but he's still got some giants to take down. Cold Zera will fall and he makes it doable. Hunter and Armanek. Two versus one now as Armanek will go down next. Hunter alone against the world. Brokey and Rain. Brokey scoped in onto his angle, scoped onto the position. Hunter peeks out, but Brokey is ready oh and days. takes him away. 11 to 4, FaZe Clan. Him going down would have maybe caused a couple of issues. Nico lining up a flash as the smoke B does mean that G2 have an intended target. Brokey on the site does have a teammate backing him up, but it's isolated duels. Oh, they're dicey. Rain and Brokey both find one, but nothing further. Nico in the back lines open and put that kit to good use as the bomb is down. Rain leading the charge, but the charge has come to a halt as they can't find the angles. Rain does, oh. however, swing oh. right by and into the skull. Armanek and Jax will both fall. And with that, base fan find themselves a 12th round. Potentially 13 rain close angle does have pistols on the other side. Oh, they go to clear him. They find Nico actually on the site rain survives and drops, but that's the site conceded a weapon that can be recovered as well. It's of course, it's just the scout, but it's in Kenny S's hands. Oh yeah. No names either from the CT side rain is looking to find a head and that's exactly what he does great flashbang from brokey it's fantastic for retakes the rain's actually getting aggressive he's so Ooh. good on this angle today he's just got three and four oh. tapping away is this another ace for the tournament rain will not get it but brokey i don't mind that shot either the same will also be true very soon off that a bomb side oh. nade is strong and Jax is weakened by it Still no movement from Kirby. Next is still waiting. And now that the players jump oh. down, Nico's caught him off. And look at Kirby. We've got to keep an eye out on him. He's found the angle, but Next is still expecting it. 35 seconds and he's taking him down. Four versus four still there, but Nico is as well. Beautiful shots coming in time after time. Oh. Even going for the jump. He is feeling himself. And oh. Rain will be able to get yet another. Sure, he's shut down, but. Next on 19, this is not a round you're likely to win. On the cross, there is Nico. 
They just have all this momentum and a whole lot of information as well as Cold has coiliered and pushed through middle. Right. Okay. I'm not quite sure about that one, but Jax will take him down soon after. Kirby to peek out is good for one, but Jax is already up the ramp, so he doesn't have anyone guarding his flank, leaving Brokey to do a little bit more heavy lifting, something he's not quite up for as Nico will fall. Armanek completely blind is able to find him through the smoke as well, so uh, I guess these two they, players can drop. They'll definitely buy. I mean, they will buy, but do they have one? Uh, whether, whether you should buy, that's a yeah. whole different question. <laughs> That's for that's for uh, Source 2. But Brokey is not going to wait Ooh. for Source 2. And now there is Rain. Unfortunately, Rain's had some sense knocked into him. And Hunter will pop his lights out. And he will be traded soon after. Cold Zero on the Farmers, the only player in the world who can make it look better than an M4. Well, Flash is over a beat. Brokey still hiding away, tucking as Cold takes first contact. Ooh. And that opens the opportunity there for Brokey. It's not the cleanest, but they get the job done. G2... On its last leg, it's just Kenny. AWP in hand, can use it as a crutch if he likes. <laughs> but three players still stand in his way, and that back plat position oh. so difficult. Brokey, that insta headshot, but Kenny S returns. And his cross has been covered. Nico dispatches of him. We've had a whole lot of 16 sixes today. This is the second series. Is this a visual glitch? Why is Rain taking off the suppressor? He's he's playing this for pistol round on hard mode. Armanek, hard fight outside. And Rain gonna be under a lot of pressure here. Door opened and frag found. There's a couple kills for G2 instantly and they collapse towards the lower site. Oh, with that. Brokey's got a kit, yes, but you've got to get a few kills over here. Cool, Zero even goes for the reload. Jack's right under him and he's been put into the grave. Oh. Another one comes in and Armanek. And Lee takes down Kirby. So, advantage still maintained by the international roster. Wait, no, G2 Esports rather. Brokey, however, Ooh. and Cool Zera coming through with more. Cole's got to go for four. He does Ooh. have the kit, and <laughs> oh my goodness, Cole! Approaching down towards lower, and Rain is already flanking outside all oh, the high ground. Taking out of the MP9, not exactly favorable in those fights, and Hunter's got enough time to turn around. Nico there for trades as he answers back against his cousin. Oh, still a 3v2, even if the three are dangerously low. Brokey does end up being assaulted so they back off and will try to save nexa in hot pursuit with just a deagle knows he's likely that they're not dead anyhow may as well try and get some damage in as he moves forward picks up the scout and he's still fighting for this cold zera does finish him off though his way. They break the glass so Brokey knows where they're coming from. Jack takes charge and takes heads. Brokey will fall but rain to trade with the MAC-10 that was picked up earlier on. 4v3, no kit. Actually, there is a kit available. Cold Zero is the one who's wielding it. So, he has to be very careful as he will come through. Armanex has been taken out. Cold Zero has got a man right behind him as well, so the kit can be picked up. Jax has got so much to do over here and very little HP to work with as he's traded away immediately. Hunter, now left alone. One versus two, finds the first. Will peek out words as well. No bullets in the gun, but he still gets it done. Two rounds for G3 Esports. They're able to clutch it out. Rain, close to the smoke, close to door, Nexa, head removed. The advantage now for FaZe, the Molotov does force Rain back into that position, but the site execute, it has been telegraphed, but it's actually over towards ramp, so they're toying with the information that FaZe have to work off of. Cold working back towards B as they start their progression, but the bombs drop, that's the first kill, and the rotations are there aplenty. Kenny, all that's left, and it's swept under the rug. Rain with three sharp kills. And Michael, now they're trying to get aggressive and outside, but perhaps, and Kirby's already been brought down. Brokey, the peek out was will trade, but Nexus has been good for two so far, and he's not done yet, potentially. Still full HP, and Abanek is the one to find Nico. Nico loves to play inside the gar garage and around it, but Brokey now oh. has to come. They are big, but he's just come down. Cool Zera, left alone, one versus four. What can they even do? Oh? Okay, certainly feasible. He tries to get them as they plant the bomb, but Nexa there to cover. It's all down to Rain and Kirby. 
over towards this crossfire that they've set up. Reigns waiting to be the first point of contact. Kirby might instead choose to do oh. just that. Two beautiful lineups and Rain will peek right out for Armanek to decapitate him. Brokey in the meanwhile had found Nexo was trying to get cheeky right back at him. Armanek still jiggle peeking and he will fall with five rounds on the T side. But mm. ideally in a situation like this, you want to get away with at least seven or so. But Hunter has been boosted up. Kirby is expecting it and Rain will get another one. G2 Esports are down three versus five. And let's not forget, this is their force buy. This is something they're fighting for. And Brokey and Colzera will make sure that there is not a single casualty on the CT side in terms of early exchanges. Jax, maybe he can change that mid round. Maybe he can get a quick little eagle kill. And he will be given the chance, but he can't capitalize it. He's turned Ooh. around, gets one onto Kirby. Nexa, though, he's crept in through ramp. He's potentially backstabbing in towards hell and there it is oh. the awp recovered great timing on the flank there from nexa he heard the rotation from cold towards the lower side it's a double bluff a double pump at that for g2 and now they have a significant man advantage two men up rain isolated on the site and set up in a crossfire where g2 were always going to come out on top now it's just cold a clutch on his hands three players to find if it's too late otherwise he can go for it and with some information garnered. It seems like he'd rather prioritize even damage than anything else. Cold has so far shown us so many instances where he's gone for that decision. If he can distract them for a while, Amanek doesn't check this angle properly, but will he come back for it? Amanek will go down. Nico's just holding the angle. Nico's waiting around and he has to be careful for more players, but he's got the information of just one so far. He's surely got to go for it. He will spray Amanek down. Kirby has got the information that this is going to be an upper hit. And as Amanek has fallen, there's 35 seconds left on the clock. Nico trades away Reigns life as well. Kirby still fighting. Kirby not found. And Kirby to get two. Kenny alone in a one versus four. Will have to move back and save his AWP. There is no way. Have some missed opportunities. Again, uncleared angles. Sure, it's a, a, an isolated player outside. It's a tall order to ask for him to be as meticulous as that when there are so many more troublesome duels when you're approaching outside in that manner last round of the half rifles out in spades here for g2 flashes lined up but not being capitalized or used just applying pressure over towards a cold gonna be a little bit pressured and hunter bests nico Kenny in the meanwhile does find Brokey as well, leaving it just on a cold while rain will fall. A faster round, but one that comes out on top of G2 Esports has put goals there on a one versus five. Now, a minute and ten. Kid is there, yes. No utility, sure, but Cole's going to start moving in. Maybe he can pick up a couple of kills at the very least. Does find one more. He's been fantastic so far. 17 and 5 so far. Can he make it 21? Peeks out wide. And Kenny's there to intercept. G2, a very good half on seven rounds on their terrorist side. We'll have to see whether they can do... Nobody even close for G2. So a full five on five retake. They don't have a flash here on the CT side. I am a little worried for them. This will be so tough for them. Smoke does go out back towards Squeaky. Actually, no. Interesting smoke to actually come through. But Kirby's found himself one and Reigns made it two and three for him. Fourth even comes in. But it's Cole Zero who's actually stolen that one. About 38 seconds on the clock and Kirby over towards Lobby. This might be the great play for them to make. Rain and Nico leading the charge. Kenny soon to peak. Kenny not able to get it as Rain will cut him right down out of heaven. Rain will start to move through. Nico squared out all the angles. Kirby looking to be the late hit. Instead, Nico and Rain have both found one apiece. And oh. Nexus has come in from behind. Beautiful second shot as well. Now, one versus two. Nico has got 10 seconds and an AK in his face. We'll say he's got zero seconds. Time runs out and G2 Esports will be the victors of that round. Well, Nico is going to be close to some flame, apparently, as he moves in. Oh. Next has been acquainted with his old friend. And with that, Next has been brought down immediately. M4 at the ready. Good luck rotating down vents when you're face off against that particular player. Jax, in the meanwhile, has got plenty of information and a teammate to come through and help him out. Jax is waiting for them to actually push forward, but decontamination has been open. Jax has got one. Jax can't get the second. Rain, while fully blind, gets one. And Kenny can't reveal his position, so he doesn't dare fire out while flashed. 
living just how American Hunter. It's been a brawl so far, and FaZe Clan will be happy to punch right back. Hunter still wants to come in. He's defending, but can't get it done. Broke has been damaged, but not killed. Amanek, one versus four, in a position where he's too deep to back off. He can't try and save the Palmas, and he knows it. Has to go straight in. Has to find the kills, has to find the clutch. And as he peeks out, he's revealed his position. They're fighting away. Colzera peeks out secondarily, and they've got the kill. But maybe more important than anything else, it's next up on the Deagle. Peeks out. What a player this guy is. Doesn't even need to stop and aim. He just gets it anyway. Three versus four. Doors being opened and shut. Brokey just getting some information for himself, but as he peeks out, has to be careful for Hunter, who's crept in right behind him. And the second Hunter peeks out, he's found the bomb plant. They can't get the kill, though. Brokey's still alive. They're finding away. Nico will fall to Jackson's USP. Jax peeks out with the XM1014, and he's been brought down. Rain now fighting back, but he can't fight hard enough. Now Nico's got to find someone, and as he's been revealed, he's, how are you peeking that Nico even gets a dink? What's wrong with you, Nico? Oh, he's just coming in, and Amanek and Nexa will save the day, but Nico's still alive and kicking with just a Glock. He's given himself a chance for a 4K. 30 seconds, bomb's been planted, everything's gone wrong. Amanek's the only one with HP. Nexa's literally on one point of HP. There's nothing he can do, and they've made the right decision. They're coming in from decontamination, but Nico, does he realize this? Door is open, peeks out, beautiful oh! stuff! Nico <laughs> is a god at this game! Difficult to get things established if you're not winning consecutive rounds. They've got a FAMAS, they've got a couple M4s, but it's pistols. And Armadek's gonna try and close that gap with a 5-7 in hand as they make fast work outside. Armadek finding it kill. He Are actually, you kidding oh, He gets three! Oh my god. This this entire half has been so chaotic. Kirby, one versus three. Right, well, Kirby's gonna peek out. Maybe he can get this done. I don't even know what's going on at this point. Tries to fake out the tiny little ladder pop, but Kirby's gonna be peeking out. Hunter right around the corner with the M4A1. Not really the gun you want to have in this spot, but Jax is... Okay, so... Very deadly little spot for him. Flash trying to go out from Kenny S. And as he rotates backwards, Still waiting. Bree peeks in. Rain, what a untimely peek for him as well. Kenny, secondary flash comes through. And it's Jax to peek out off the back of it. Two man lineup gets them both. Nico left alone. Gets two as well. Is this a 1v5 attempt to come through? If there's anyone to do it, it would be Nico. He's looking to jump down quickly. Lots of time to get the bomb plant in before they start to rotate over, but he's thinking. 10 seconds on the clock, and he's going to go for the bomb plant. Will fake it out initially, waiting for a peek from decontamination. Now he's got no choice but to stick for it. Amanek peeks out. So a couple rounds, or a few now in a row for G2 on these rifles. And Jax, with those kills in the past round, trying to mimic its success. Very sharp opening duel. It's a rule I hope is maintained for... The rest of this game, it was such a scrappy start to the second half. Well, Jax is about to find out where the rifles. Yes, or not, and indeed, yes, 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 yes. Oh. Jax has got it all. Nice little ace as well. Just to put the cherry on top. Sure, it's an anti-eco, but we take those while we're here. Immediately, next up. On outside, looking to get aggressive. Nico right around the angle is expecting it, and he will get the kill with the shadow advantage as well. Five versus four, Amanek waiting for the first through, finds a bomb and another. Hunter, meanwhile, right around the corner, is looking for a 2k, but it's Kirby left alone, as Kenny S will take away Nico's life as he drops down. Kirby peeks out, finds one more, and it's a 1v1 with a minute and 20. The world is his oyster. And Jax, well, Jax has an incendiary of his own, so Kirby's position is a very, very touchy one. And as Jax will start to make his way over, does he use the Molotov where we think he might? That's the question. He does have it, but he doesn't want to use it. He drops down. It's not silent. And Kirby has oh. got it done. The 1v2 goes his way. And after a series... Playing it slow. It's a game of information, really, for either side. Amanek finding a frag. He's doubled up for this round. Kirby 
does get one back. He's taking a lot of damage. Nico spotted out, but Kirby gets another. He was on 9 HP for the duel, but he's found an advantage, though it's only short-lived. 2v2, a bomb site open for business. Rotation coming in for Kenny. And he's hoping to catch the timing. He descends and oh. Kenny dies to the circumstances. Tag damage from Kirby and the fall. So it's just a Jax and a clutch. One versus two. Kirby is low, but Cold is the one to be worried about. Great crossfire they've got for themselves, but Jax will be able to isolate the first duel at the very least. Kirby's not expecting this, and he will be going down initially. Jax doesn't have a kit, though. He knows he needs oh. to be fast, and he gets it done. Jax will be able to defuse the bomb out. It'll be cutting it very, very close, but FaZe Clan, they end up giving away a two versus one they thought they had in the bag. They were taking their money and going to the bank with it, but G2 Esports are still somehow in this game. He has been the man for G2, the reliable one. 24 kills so far, and he spots out the head. Down towards B, they descend, and Brokey and Rain hit the deck. Nexa to Frag, and he oh! lands the ball! What a turnaround there from Nexa! Back against the wall, no support, and he deals with the B push for FaZe single-handedly. His AK will be one of the few weapons they can actually have. 45 seconds, Kirby's going to be leading the charge with the AK-47. Calls error. Might have called for Rain to go in first, so Rain with the eagle goes in first. Rain goes forward, Hunter will find him. Kirby to get one, but traded immediately. 3v4, and the CTs keep fighting. Brokey and Nico. now Nico finds one. Pulls out the deagle, can't oh. get it done. Brokey left alone in a 1v2. Peeks out again, and he's got one, but not the second. G2 Esports get themselves 16, and they will force a third map. FaZe Clan, at the worst possible time, they lose a 2v1. Kind of a non-factor on Nuke in the series as a whole. He hasn't been the biggest contributor. That could be the missing piece that G2 are looking for for an edge. An overpass, a good way to do it. CT start for G2 and a fast play for FaZe onto the B site. But no casualties just yet. A lot of damage being felt for the first frag found onto G2 instead. Kenny's now starts to come in from B short. Got himself two great kills and he's coming into play nicely. Next as well to get another. The bomb plan is even denied. So the longer that phase actually take, the better it would be for G2 over here. Now Manek will see the shadow coming in. Is only good for one. And now rotations will start coming Ooh. through. Cold with a great headshot down from long. Brings it to a 3v3. And with Kenny being this slow, it's a big disadvantage. Kenny inside the smoke. Barely Ooh. dodges the bullets. And he's managed to come out. But Cold has now been the one left on 4 HP. Kenny will not be the one to die. Instead, it's Jax to go down. Cole's been ripping them apart long range. And Nexa will follow. Kenny left alone with only 2 HP. And the madness from Nuke has come to play. And it's here to stay. And Kenny gets nothing. Y'all uh, dink down at the start. He gets a second headshot just to finish him off. We saw G2 being able to sneak away around. They should never have gotten. Armanek with the 5-7 comes to mind, playing from on top of red container. Next out, though, this time will be leading the charge and leading the board. Finds the initial kill, Kirby to fall. And Nexa, who's flashed up, has to back off for cover. But Jax around the corner, still good for one. And Cold Zara has to save the day. Preventing Armanek and company from getting more as he keeps swinging through. Hunter left alone, and alone he will die with that phase. Smokes off the side itself, and they'll start to move in with flashes raining through. 55 seconds, they're clearing all the angles, but they're not finding anything. It's the CTs to come and strike, but they can't get the kills. They're also low on the face side, but they're fighting back. Armanek finally finds one single kill. But it's still a three versus three. Can they get it done? Kirby playing from water has to be careful of Armanek coming around the corner. Kenny S is the one who's got himself the AWP and himself and Hunter will be peeking in. Beautiful kill. Brokey wasn't even flashed and he still goes down. Hunter out in the open. So careful, but Kirby around the corner will be his target and he will find it. Picks up the AK as well, leaving Nico alone. 1v3 and can't get it done. Kenny. The first to lead the way. Has the bomb on his back as well, so hopes this doesn't fall out of his hands too quickly. They get themselves onto the site, and Hunter, patient play, backstabbing Nico. Amanek still goes uncleared and unchecked. There's a secondary player in water as well, and the flank from Hunter is well-timed and well-executed. Brokey, just the AWP, but nothing else. 
playing from heaven. He's got the AK-47, but the flashbang is very well timed to keep Nico at bay. Brokey has been forced to start leading forward. Another flashbang's there. Nexus found the first, and although Jax has been traded on some damage, it's not enough to get the kill. Jax is still fighting away. He wants to take the peek with the AK-47. Get oh. the flick as well. Kirby to fall with the bomb on top of it. Come on, Neck comes in from behind, and he might have just saved the day. One versus one, Colzera alone has to wait, and he can't make the peek out. He'll instead start to back off and wait oh. for it. Colzera again. If Nexa hears this, this is going to be massive. He's still waiting outside the connector, so he can at least guarantee it won't be a B-bomb side hit. But face down at this point, if Brokey gets a kill oh. over here, they can just run back towards the B-bomb side as well. Brokey will be spotted as he jumps across towards the side itself. But Kenny S, he's rotated back. He's playing from near the garbage bin where he's got a faster rotation. Brokey has given Nico the time, but Kenny gets the kill. Nico will be able to get a bomb plant in. It's a 1v2 for him. Flashbang at the ready as well. We'll start to move back. Peek out as two. AWP misses his shots, but he's been scouted out as he moves back. We'll have to take the duel. Oh. One tap straight to the face of Nexa as well. Nico against Kenny. Yes, a one versus one. Kenny without the kit, so he needs to get this done and quick. Nico is coming in from behind. Kenny fakes out the defuse. Nico is just using Kenny's nerves against him. G2 trying to pretend like they're sticking it, but Nico with two taps. Two taps. That's all he needs. But FaZe, again, they're defaulting and they're letting G2 fall back on their own. G2 then re-aggresses later on in the round and then they're cut off. Kenny might be falling victim to that soon enough as he's pulled out his knife and Kirby and Rain will both find a kill apiece. Rain, of course, to escort Kenny into the grave before being traded. Kirby keeps it going, but Hunter has been able to catch him off. The flick not there in time. 20 Bringing seconds. Back to it, 3v3 in 20 seconds. Jax will fall, though. And with that, Armin X position is everything. If he can find this kill onto the AWP, if it swings out, that would be massive. But the bomb's already been planted. Armanek can't get this done, and they will have to save unless Armanek finds the kill. Colzera caught off and brought down. The M4A1 of Hunter needs to start pushing forward now as it creeps through. It's got a corner to go around, and Nico's got the kill. Takes away Hunter's life, leaving just Armanek in a one versus two. No kit to pick up either. It's a bit too far away. If he goes for it, that's basically wasting all the time that he saves by the kid as well. Armanek um, creeps in. Nico is on fire. Flashbang prime for Kenny S. Should they want to peek out? Jax can actually take use of that. And here the flashbang will be coming. Kirby gets the first kill. Flash up immediately. But Jax is being tagged up initially. Nico to fall as Kenny S will find him on short. Kirby and Brokey will be creeping through. Fighting. Do they realize this though? Glock is there, but Brokey is now left alone in a one on two. Switches out for the AK-47. Looking to peek out. Almost gets the headshot as well. But that will be all she wrote. G2. Their money's still not quite established. Rain looking for duels initially. They're still facing. They're still looking for peeks out from Monster. And Jax is fully blinded up. Rain and Nico find the opening. And there's Cold off that initial space created. Now Kenny and Armanek on these rotations to try and hold on. And so far successful. Now Kenny, one versus three. The Molotov just now disperses. Kenny's got to back off. There's no way he gets this. He knows it. It is what it is in G2 Esports, although they find themselves four rounds, FAs are quick to come back and make it nine. And with this, G2 also will not really have much money going into their penultimate round of this half. So you're again in an awkward position where you have to decide. Well, interesting set of utility actually going out as well. That'll be making it much more difficult for Kenny to play around with anything. Now that secondary arc could be doing a lot, but Kirby is doing the same. Only good for one, though, as his aim is a bit too shaky to get the second. 3v4, face clan. Plenty of clutches won so far, and this one might be a little bit harder to get across because Kenny's on the other side of a scoped-in rifle. And Kenny, well, he's still going. Catches off Rain as well through the wall. Tags him up heavily. Rain will go down to the flames. Kenny to get the kill even if he's not even looking at him. Brokey left in the one versus three. He's good at clutches, but not that good. G2 take the fifth, and we'll take a break before we're back with the second half. The question is, will they be able to solve the mystery of G2 and come through victorious? We'll have to wait to see. Michael, Yumi, Cassidy on the mic with me as always, but Nico's found himself a kill, and Michael's not caught the mic because of it.
Well, it's a double push long to start for phase, and so G2 will have to be fast about how they approach B. The utility sailing out, Kierby, first opportunities there. Brokey does get cleared out, but they line up for Kierby and Brokey, dismantling the B aggression there from G2. Phase a clean pistol round. So we'll have to wait to see whether that comes into play or not. Brokey, though, Farmer's at the ready, waiting for them to peek out. Drax will be leading the charge. He's been spotted. Ned goes out. Rain will now come through with a beautiful kill. Tries to switch for the AK, but it's him and Brokey to fall because of it. Ooh, nice set of kills there for G2 to get. That's the A bomb site now fully compromised. Nico going to try and get there in time, and the Wall of Smokes actually secures him an exit. Flash lined up. He's gonna try for this. Attempting the spam. Cold alongside him. And they find one through the smoke. An equalizing frag at that for phase. Kenny, around Optimus, wants to peek out. He knows he's in a very awkward position in a 3v3. And when Kirby comes in from behind, next to the fallen, Kenny's forced out. Unfortunately, though, Nico's found a gap in the smoke, and that leaves just Hunter. One versus two. He's gotta do the dirty work, and he's never really had work this dirty. Nico turns around, going backwards, trying to get the defuse. He's count out Hunter, and that'll be it. 13th round on the board for FaZe Clan as they bring together a three versus three. Great stuff all in all, though. Three straight for FaZe. G2, half by in the round. Following up, okay. The kill from Jax, the nade. Does find one right back, but this B bomb site has found a bit of vulnerability. Into a three on three, the rifles not quite made its way into G2 hands. And oh, oh. star reaction there from Kenny. Nico taken out. Great flick from him, and it's back down to a 2v3. Now, G2, they are very weak. However, Hunter, he's creeping in with the Tech 9. Has found himself the opening kill as well initially. And as he peeks forward, he'll oh. take down Brokey. Picks up the AWP while he's at it, leaving Rain in a one versus three. Almost impossible situation for the man himself, but Rain, he might still be up for the task. If he can find the first kill, then everything else is peachy. They're very low HP. And he's maybe just found the angle. Peeks out, but Hunter gets it nonetheless. Beautifully done from the man himself. Well, maybe they could be getting some big damage. Unfortunately for Kirby, he can't get the kill. And as Molotov start to creep in, Kirby will be smoking himself off to try and back off. But Nico's been... Oh, Nico's been so instrumental. Oh. Still coming alive. <laughs> Three kills and almost a fourth as well. Kenny, yes, will be escorted to the grave. And that will be it. Face Clan get themselves to 14. In an overtime game. Get 44 kills. He is not getting that same level of success here against G2. Nico, aggressive towards long, trying to eliminate some of the approaches here for G2. They're still equal in number, but Nexa still so low HP. And Kierby once again on the flank there with the oh. orc, and he doubles down. Hunter, this long rotation, this lurk play from B, it's going to be far too late to get anything going. Zero chance in winning the round. It would have to be by elimination, and FaZe are far too spread out. A 15th for FaZe as they're looking to close out overpass. Oh, this is going to be huge. One more mistake, oh. one more advantage to be found, and Hunter holds on to his AK. We talked about the money. Oh, Brokey's peeking into it. Oh dear, first one to hit the deck is Armanek. That's the bomb spotted out as well. Given a second chance at it, he's got a gap in the smoke, and Brokey goes huge for two. Rain, all the meanwhile, finds a kill on Nexa, and Brokey has really been the one that trumped what G2 had to offer in the round. Now he just holds on to all of that control. There's no progression towards a Hunter and Kenny trying to meet up and try and get oh, no. something going. But Kenny's being caught out in the open. Brokey cutting off the rotation. Kenny to answer back. So this is coming back to a feasible situation now for G2. And as Kirby, here's the smoke going out, blooming through. He'll start to back off and reposition to go through. Hunter's watching the angle. Can he get it done? Hunter waiting for the push, but he gets this flick and the spray follow up. Kirby can't get the kill fast enough and it's back down to a 2v2. Kenny has trying to fight back with an AK that's been picked up while Cold right rates back over towards Heavens. Nico will be taking the deal soon, but Kenny will fall and it's all down. It's all dust and it's all phase and it's all day long. A victory for them as they move forward and G2 Esports, they just can't get it done.